Do your business. Strip. My strip. Do my strip. Uh, I forgot the date actually. The week's gone. Fourth of February. Fourth of February. It's my dad's birthday today. Congratulations. The big, the big eight one. The big eight one. 81 years old. Fourth uh, of February, 1941, in the middle of an air raid in Bradford. My dad popped his head out for the first time. What are the cockpits? Yep. Of the Junker? Yep. Yep. Eight, 81. <laughs> and he landed on the British soil two hours later. I was talking hours. to him on Skype. Um, start at week. What? I was talking to my dad on Skype at start at week. And I'll speak to him again today. But he were, he were, uh, I was saying, oh yeah, yeah, being middle aged. And, so, and he said, yeah, you're not middle aged. I said, yeah, I'm 50, I'm middle aged. And he said, no, no, you're not looking middle aged. You're early retirement now. You look to him? No, my dad said that to me. Oh, right. You did, I mean, 50 is not middle aged, is it? I'm not going to say 100. No, I'm not agreeing well, that, with you. <laughs> I'm how, how, how old are you one. now? 47? Uh, 47, yeah. 47, so that would make you 94. So you're, you're on back... I'm so sorry, I'm 46. 46. <laughs> so my own age. So that, that would make you 92. You're what? well you're well into your back nine now, aren't you? Well, I'm 92, not 92. If you were middle-aged, you would be. What? If you were lived to 92, you'd be 46, you're middle-aged now. You're not going to see 42, Oh, well, I see what you mean. But that doesn't mean middle age means drawing the, the curtains of your life, kind of slowly packing it up with work. No, that's not true at all, is it? <laughs> but where, where, no, middle age, middle of a hundred is 50. I think they call that, yeah. Well, yeah, who lives to 100? There's not many live to 100, is there? No, no. Where, where do you think your middle age was? Did you know this city where I live, there's 160,000 people, Kamakura? Yeah, Kamakura. Mm -hmm. Do you know how many people are over 100? Uh, four hundred and sixty-eight. No, one hundred forty-five. But close. that's <laughs> close. But that's that's not bad. I, mean, I would think zero. One hundred sixty thousand no, no. people over, and then who's over a hundred? Like in Bradford, oh, well, no. nobody's over hundred. No, nobody really makes it over hundred in Bradford. But over, you, over you 60, think we've, lucky. we've got the we've got the high end Asians. We're living in Japan, so they're the high end of all the age. They're not jungle Asians, are they? Pardon? It's not racist. It's an actual term. I'm going to have to look your, your, your jungle Asians are your, <laughs> your Thais and your Filipinos. Is that what you call jungle Asians? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So they don't live right. Long. I might have to sue you for being offended. Jungle here. Asians, in, in, it's not racist. All right, that's enough, I think. Um, but those Asians... Developed countries, I think. Oh, that looks yeah, yeah. There. But th those Asians get to about 60 and, right, we're done. You know, your Filipinos. They don't live right long. How do you know? You just popped it out of your ass. No, no, no. I've, I've I read about it because we were, I were talking about it with me with my wife because you think in England seventy eight for a man is it or is it seventy two? Seventy two seems a bit low, doesn't it? Seventy eight seems a bit high to me. So it might be seventy eight for a woman, seventy two for a man. Sounds about right. But seventy two is not very old, is I it? I know, for a but man? you better make it, get that get that but pen and paper. I, I would think because my my for wife is, my wife is eleven years younger than me, right? So that would, if I die when I'm 72, she will be 61. Right. Right? So she's still young enough to find herself another fella, I'd expect. She probably won't. She'd be dressed in black for the rest of her life. But she could still do it. A Bradford widow. At 61. But, I mean, how old were your grandparents? Or were they already done? Uh, no, the war took care of them. Oh, did, did Hitler get them? Well, no, Stalin did. Did they? Oh, they were fighting with the Germans, obviously. Yeah, no, but did they get killed? Did they get <laughs> killed? I'm, I'm creating a bit of a hole for myself here. No, uh, uh, no, my grandmother died uh, just after the war, but due, due to the war, yeah, it was a rough time. And the other one died in the war, yeah. Uh, my English grandfather was a conscientious objector. Do you know that? He went to prison. Coward. <laughs> I think it was the time of the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, but when I was growing up, my father told me that yeah. in, in you know in the, in the 80s, 90s. And I, I did say, oh, what a coward. You can fight a war. <laughs> yeah. And now, of course, I, and I respect that. He, he wrote books about it, well, yeah. pamphlets, and he was against the war. And he didn't think that was was proper thing to do and killing and such. And now I think, oh, that's, that's amazing. No, I won't do it. I won't do it now. To stand up against a, a propaganda machine, yeah. whoever side it is. But to say no to that, all right, that's fair juice. But yeah, when I was a kid, I, I felt very ashamed of that. But he, when when you were a kid going to say you were in first school in Amsterdam, 
Yeah. When, we, when I were in first school and middle school in in England, we were all a, oh, fucking Germans. We won the war. And that was me as a kid. Yeah, well, that's you still today. Yeah, yeah. But th that's not me, me, but that's the English now. But I'm, I don't do that shit. I've heard you made a couple of comments. No, 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 no. <laughs> But when we, it comes to football, but that's how you were brought up at school. I think it's still how you brought up. Is it like that in Amsterdam? No, no, no. no I mean, there, there's a rivalry, sort of big brother, smaller brother kind of feeling, because that they are we're so close, so similar in so yeah. many ways. There's not much difference if you go, if you really push the show. But I mean, in in football, it comes up rivalries as it would always do. But it doesn't come up with the way that the English and the Germans have that rivalry. Yeah, but yeah. then again, it's one-sided. The Germans don't have any rivalry with Ger you guys. Germans aren't bothered about it. No, they wouldn't no. give a toss. No. My mum once came back from holiday with my dad. And I don't know if they'd been in Spain or Greece. And you know what the Germans do? They get up early in the morning. They put, they put, well, they put the towels on the sunbed around the pool, don't they? And I've never seen that. I have never seen that, and I've still. I've seen, the only way I found that out was yeah. on English comedy shows. That's how I get right. the reference to that point. There's only on English comedy shows. Never well, seen it in my I, life. I've I've been to Spain by myself on holiday in nineties and seen them do it. I don't know if this. I don't know if the kids are today doing it now, but that's definitely what they did in eighties and nineties. They would come back from being out on piss. They'd go up to the rooms before they went to bed. They'd get the towels and they'd put it on the sunbed sunbeds. Sun loungers around the pool, get the best ones. Some German guests. All most of the always Germans, and then they'd go to sleep, get up in the morning, have the breakfast, and then they'd go down, and it were reserved. Now I think. Why didn't you do that then? Well, that's what that's what I would always think. Well, it didn't bother me. Mm. I didn't give a shit. But that's what the thing Eng the English would complain about it, and you'd think, well, why aren't the English doing that? Exactly. Why are you preparing yourself? But because we love to complain about it. We don't, we oh, don't it's... actually, what we, because we're cures, aren't we? We're cures. We would go down there and if there's a sunbed free, we take that one. We don't mm. jump the queue. We love to queue. I think that's a, a, a cultural well, thing. Yeah, I'm not planning ahead possibly, but no, you're right about the complaining. I have never met a country where complaining <laughs> is, is just a, a national sport yeah. or an art form. Yeah. The moaning that my dad used to do, it just drove me berserk. Yep, yep, we love it. Anyway, my mother took offence to this one morning because it must have been about 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning. And, well, the morning. And the, these these towels were on beds. And my mum were, I'm having none of that. So she took the towels and she put them, folded them up and put them on a table and then she got on some lounger. And apparently this German family came down and started giving my mum some shit. And she just turned to him and said, yes, but we won the war. <laughs> and she was telling me this. Oh, at, she was telling me this at all. And I said, you were born in 1943, mother. What exactly did you do yeah. to bring Hitler to his knees? Yeah, yeah, but but we won it. I said, yeah, but you didn't. You, well, in were, fact, you, you were, she was on the German side. She was consuming important resources of, yeah. of life to... Yeah. Being, could, that could have been used for the front. But this, <laughs> this, the German side. this would have been early 90s, 93 maybe. So this were like 50 years after the event. Oh, no, mate. You, you'll still have people saying that and they were born in the, in the 70s, 80s, 90s. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why that is. I, I, again, I've, I've yet to encounter a country where there's so much reference to historic events and people quoting Agincourt. And that's... Whatever, 800 years, whatever amount of years ago it is. Uh, and, and things to how, when we ruled the world, or when that was that. And well, you, you'd think with, with England in Euro 96, they had, they had um, Gaza on back page with the German helmet on. All oh, right, yeah. And then the German manager, whoever it was, went into the changing rooms in Wembley and just said, look what they're fucking writing about us. And mm. the Germans just went out and beat us. They used that to beat us. Yeah, it's a, it's a strange thing, isn't it? I mean, as a, as a national pastime, yeah, it is a bit weird. I and, dare say. and I mean, this 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 people who are still going on about it now, who didn't even know the grandparents or the great great grandparents that fought in that war. Oh man! But look at the English royal family; they had to change their names because they were Germans. Because they were Germans, yeah. yeah. I mean, even down to. Our emblem, that Richard the Lionheart, that's from the Crusades, for Christ's sake, mm. and we've still got it on a shirt. Mm. There's no lions in England. 
<laughs> Mind you, you've got one on your crest, haven't you? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right, yeah. What's that about? No idea. With, with Holland? Yeah. You explained the orange bit, but I don't know why you've got a... And what's the KNVB? Uh, Koninklijk Nationale Voetbalbond, the Royal National Football League or, or Association. What, so what, what... The K is Royal. What's Royal in Dutch? Koninklijk. 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 King... King Lee. King Lee. Koninklijk. That sounds like something that you'd pour down your sink to uncloak drain. Koninklijk. Yeah, there you go, being English. <laughs> Is that maybe racist? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, not right. Oh. English, being English, just God. sort of jumping on. Oh yeah, well that's what is you Spanish because you're always late and lazy. Yeah, I mean, in mañana, the, mañana. In the first ten minutes of this podcast, I've, I've, what jungle Asians, <laughs> corn and cloak. Who's next? Come on, remember, I'm, what, maybe, Italians, Italians. I'm doing, I'm doing it without even thinking. <laughs> it. <laughs> Italians, oh surely they're, they're just uh, lazy people. God, I'll, I'll be coming out with a send. I'm not racist, but... <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> well, you are, actually. Yeah. Uh, that was a good one. I'm not a, I'm not a serial killer. Some of my best friends are alive. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> and then the next one was, I'm not a paedophile. Some of my best friends are... No, I can't say that. <laughs> Have you seen... There's, um, there's a thing that I saw a trailer on on YouTube. Ghostbusters. Nope, 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 nope. Um, and there's, there's a woman... She's 22 years old. She looks like she's eight. <clears throat> eight? She looks like an eight-year-old. She had she had a brain cancer when she was a kid. So they give her chemotherapy. Right. Just stop growing. She just stopped growing at that age. Um, and you're talking about paedophiles now. So she's walking around as an eight-year-old. She's driving. She's in a bar drinking. She's got tattoos. She's vaping. And people are going, what the, what the fuck's going on here? You know, what the fuck is going on here? And she's showing her ID and her ID checks out. She's driving into these parking garages and the attendant's going, what the fuck? Because she's in a booster seat. Mm. And she says, I'm 22, bitch, let me in. <laughs> so she's walking around. Anyway, I said to Shima, because she's talking about going on dates and stuff, you're a paedophile, aren't you, if you... No, you can see past that. Can could you? Yeah, you, know you someone... could see. You could see. Eight year old, and oh, eight, she, you... as as you look at her, she's an eight year old. Well, that would the reverse will be you fall in love with an older woman. Well, surely that wouldn't be. It's not not not. It's not, no, like it's not that the best of comparison, is it? Well, what I was thinking when I was talking to Jim, and I was saying, well, do you know these kids? that have that aging disease, they look like they're 80, but they're eight. Yeah, but they don't last more than whatever, 15 But that would be, olds. that would, you see, in a strange way, that would be, you'd be a paedophile if you had a relationship with one of them. Yeah, but would, they, they die at 50, or whatever yeah, it is. Yeah, but if it was the other way around, if you're a man who's dating this woman who's 22, but she looks like an eight-year-old, you're a paedophile, right? I don't know, Christ, it's such a, it's like Benjamin Button, you know, you, 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 I, I don't know. Didn't, didn't but you, it. you could do the worst possible thing, legally, <laughs> couldn't you? You Jimmy Savile it. Well, you, you, you could, couldn't you? Uh, I don't know. Um, I, I'm, I am of the opinion that if you fall in love with someone, and yeah, no, you can't if you say. But she's, she's not, she's no tits. No, but she is. She's no she, hits. Her, her mind is a 22 year old. Yeah. Right? But she's got tattoos. She's smoking. Mm. She's drinking. She's she said. Uh, but so that's a, it's a disability. You know, which is just uh, the chemo stunted her growth. It's but, but so that's 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 a, that's the disability, mm. right? That's, that's mm. the handicap, as you would yeah. still call it, probably. Well, well then you you have to look beyond it. Whether it's yeah. it's it's a cute, really good look, a hot looking eight year old, you know, a <laughs> cute eight year old. You know, you big eyes. Like, she's an eight year old, but. She's 22. She's not an eight-year-old. She's 22. She's not an eight-year-old. She looks like an eight-year-old. Yeah. But she's, she's not an eight-year-old. But. Your if, honour. <laughs> but if you're, if you're, I mean, she, I don't know how. What I was thinking immediately was. I'm not sure if I want to hear this. Well, <laughs> Go on then. I don't know. I've already dug it all for myself <laughs> already. Ten minutes in, aren't you? What would you do to her? No, no. <laughs> I would, see, I, I would, I want a woman. Well, hang on, we're just five o'clock now. But I, that <laughs> I obviously she's a, I can't help you at she's the a 22 year old woman, but that wouldn't 
that won't swing me. So what if you'd meet her in a chat uh, box page thing, whatever they call yeah. it, a dating app? Yeah. And chat, you, chat room. Chat room. And you're not, you don't know what she looks like. Yeah. And there might be a, 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 another anagram. What's the, what's, the, what's the pictogram? What's the avatar? The yeah. avatar of just a, a cartoon character. And you get chatting. You, you're doing very well. And, oh, it's great. Yeah, yeah. Wow, well, we'd like to meet you. And, and you, you're very similar. And you're, and you're kind of falling for and You, you talk to her for weeks and weeks and weeks. Yeah. And she says, well, yeah, I have this, you know, I, I was quite sick when I was young and, and it's, it's my growth has been with, ah, no problem, I'm quite, I'm quite into you and let's meet and and there you go and, and you, you wait at the station and she comes up to you and, and what would you, you say? You look down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I'm waiting for someone to piss off a little, <laughs> little fucking well, I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. No, thank you. But you've fallen in love with her online, in a sense. Can you, you imagine being in a bar? Right, and you've both had a couple oh, of drinks, yeah, and you start it's... French kissing with this <laughs> with this eight year old at the bar, dancing on the fucking done. Lady in red, she, she's <laughs> she's up on bar taking shots off her tits, off her chest because she's got uh, no tits. Oh, I think we're getting this topic right, right, but so, close I, to the lot say, of bones. Pedophile, right? That any man who wants to date her is a pedophile. No, no, no. No. I mean, granted, the situation is very unlikely, and, and this, this, I have, I've never heard of such a case, so this sounds kind of hypothetical to I'll, me. I'll put a link, I'll put a link on YouTube, and I'll, <laughs> I'll show you the trailer. <laughs> I'll put a link on the what dark web. Music? I'll yeah. put a link on the dark <laughs> web. <laughs> and a number I can call. 800 pounds a minute. Um, no, I, I think you can fall in love with someone... Uh, someone's character, I, but I don't think physically. I mean, I, I, I this, this. I'm not comparing this again, but I remember seeing this documentary. I was quite impressed with this this man who had a healthy family with this this woman who had no legs, and she was a dwarf. Was like, all right, well, but they had a wonderful relationship. And, Did she have any arms? Yeah, but it was all. It was a bit like the T Rex kind of arms, very sort of small like, arms. Oh, yeah, the great lady. She, she was very funny, very interesting, and met this guy and they fell in love. And they had she had babies, had two kids. Were they all right? Yeah, they were fine. And uh, when there were three, they were bigger than her. And she'd go around with skateboard in the house. Well, like, and she was managing this household very well by herself. How did she get him out of herself? With a plunger. <laughs> but I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Oh. But I was so impressed with oh, great guys. They just roll with the punches, so, so to speak. But it was such a you think well. I felt guilty to think, well, what am I a, complaining about? Why did I, Why would I say, oh, bless you? I don't think just sympathy. Because we're shallow. Yeah, yes, we are. Yes, we are. I'm very shallow. Yeah. I, I, I'll, I'll admit that. No, but it, there's, there's, there's the two, there's the two, but one people, some people are gross out, and some people say, oh, we need to help her doing things. No, but she, she can manage herself, you know, so it doesn't need your sympathy, it doesn't need your, your shit, especially. <laughs> But you, you think some there'll be some people in Japan that will look at our wives and go, oh, God, what have they married a foreigner for? Well, I often think that when I look at your wife. Yeah. Poor lass. What did she get up with? Pulled the short end of the stick. <laughs> um, yes, but there's also people who say, oh, very lucky. This guy takes care of the kids. He, he's cooking. He's, he's cleaning. I've heard that, that argument as well a lot. Mm. But then I think, well, that's just the other side, which isn't good either. I want to just have a balanced view of it and don't give a shit about it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she, she married a foreigner, bless her. At least she could get someone. Didn't end up alone. Yeah, there. What? With, yeah, there with. Um, there with Japanese men that don't do an don't do a thing in the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I hear that a lot from students. Yeah. Other. Uh, oh, you cook? Yeah. My my husband never cooks. Never cleans anything. Sits in front of the TV, farts, drinks every night. Well, we seem to wander off the road here a bit. <laughs> but shall we get back to the eight-year-old? Yeah, come on, I guess. Would you do it? <laughs> well, I don't think I could. could no, but, it wasn't a serious question. I was just trying but to if you, shock you there. She, she was saying that, you know, I've, I've, I've had six boyfriends, but they've all kind of been freaks and weirdos. <laughs> So, well, so, I wasn't going to say you're asking for it, but it is going to attract But you're 22 guy. year old, surely you should have known that were coming. 
I don't know. What if you don't know any better? You 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 want to believe. You want to be happy. You want to find a guy. Someone's nice to you. You well, you you are going to turn a lot of people off because they are going to worry about what you've just said. Imagine if that were your kid. If that were your kid, and you sending her out there to oh, Christ, into the pit. Yeah. Oh. There's there's going to be a lot of fellas out there that are right. I can, I can do this, and the law can't touch me. Yeah, I say, coming into a bar, someone goes, "Oh, hello!" <laughs> what just walked in here? Yeah. Now then, my dear, if, if she's a, if she's a bit pissed, can you imagine? She's a bit pissed. You're a bit pissed, and you take her home, and then you, it goes a bit black. You black out drunk, and you wake up in the morning, With a roll, roll over, and there's a fucking eight year old at the side of you. So, we went, went to car to Mexico. Can you imagine that. Jesus Christ! I don't think I want to imagine that. But if if you've been a complete con, she could she could pretend that she was an eight year old. And then, I think that might come out of the court. Calling the police. Um, it's a sad story. I mean, that's that's all there is oh, to yeah, it. Yeah. yeah, you're you're trying to make it perverted. But I'm not trying to make it perverted. I'm saying the, yes, fel- you the are. fellas yes, that you want are. to date her. Uh, M- well, so, so all all blokes that that want to date her, Peter Fox. Yes. All of them. There is yes. a single one who says, I can look past this disability, this this thing that you have. You're a human being. You deserve to be happy and I'm attracted you're, to you. All right, all right. She looks like an eight-year-old, but she's 23. You're on your third date. She says, come round to my house, I'll cook. And I've been to Victoria's Secrets. I've got something <laughs> nice for you. Bro, what'd you get? I'm really quite curious. Some baby clothing? But <laughs> which, which? I'm out. I'm out. shop makes some I'm, erotic clothes for eight-year-olds. I'd just say, look, love, I've tried, but no. No, thank you. But you have tried. Well, well you're on your third <laughs> date. You've not done it yet. But you've imagined just, it. Don't worry, I'll cook. I've got, I've got some sexy underwear for you. An eight-year-old sexy Dumb. underwear? How does that work well, exactly? She, she, it's like them kitchens that they have fitted in the house, don't they? They're, they're made to measure. You'd be able to get some uh, Erotic underwear for eight-year-olds. Well, particular shops will cater to it, I suppose. It was just like a two or three minute clip and it sent me on all sorts of rabbit holes that I've (laughs) I've not been able to stop thinking about. I've been walking up quicker with a sweat. (laughs) But no... I'm asking my wife to come in in the room on her knees (laughs) with little shoes tied to the knees. Speaking in an high-pitched voice. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, so that's what's been filling my days this last... uh... What, uh, What is she cooking on this third date? Fish fingers. <laughs> fucking bringing a happy set. <laughs> well, she, she always gives the cinema gets the half t- price. She'll get the yeah. toy. <laughs> yeah. One and a half, please. And and the start of this week, did you see the Mason Greenwood thing? No. You know who Mason Greenwood is, though, don't Remind you? Remind me. The Manchester United player. Oh, yeah, coming out of, uh, out of, out of uh, Stuck. Um, I gave it a quick glance. No, not really. Grew up about... Five minutes away from my front door, that kid. Well, that explains a lot. Yeah. So you think you twenty? Did you see you? Did you see his girlfriend on Instagram? No. She's been battered. Battered. You bro- I think she, she's his broken nose. Her nose is bleeding, and I don't know if he's this because they say sexual assault now, don't they? Is that rape now? Is that what we say? Is that what they're saying instead of rape? No, rape is rape, isn't it? But they don't say rape anymore, do they? They just say sexual assault. Now, I thought sexual assault is covers a wide range of things, doesn't it? Oh, and I'm not sure on the particulars. But nobody, says, no, still... nobody seems to say rape anymore. Mm. So that, but Yeah, you're right, you're right. I haven't, in all my TV dramas recently, you don't, you don't hear that. Yeah. Oh. But he's been, he's been at Manchester United since he was seven, so he's been fed this, fucking hell, you're great, you're great, you're great. And then I think in 2019 he signed professional contracts, so we were 18, and uh, th- what six figure, six figure salary every week, yeah, two hundred thousand a week, twenty year old. And it's just you get to you get in everything at, before you're twenty, and it's not enough. Your honour. So I yeah, it, I'm innocent. He brought his own. He's got his own clothing label. He's sponsored by Nike. He plays for Manchester United. That is all. That's all gone now. The what is not. He's not even training with a football team anymore. There's a similar case in 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 Holland going on, but which I like to compare with you on this one. But yeah. um, go a bit more into details. I don't, I don't remember. 
So he beat the shit out of well, the girlfriend. Well, look at, looking at the photographs on Instagram, um, I forget what, what she said in the comments, but this is the man that you look up to, and she's got... Her fucking nose is completely broken. She's she's like this. I don't. She's a model, an Instagram model. She's good looking, but the ten a penny now on Instagram, aren't they? And he's just obviously it looks like he's kicked fuck out of her. But he were he were arrested, and then he got out, and then he were rearrested for sexual assault. How long did was he inside? I think he got put in on Sunday. He were out Monday, but they got him again on Tuesday. Wow. But I don't know if he's still inside now. Good lawyers. Imagine that'd be, I won't say you, but imagine just a normal bloke in Bradford, you'd be... You wouldn't have got out. No, you wouldn't. You'd be you inside until... But that... Early that went to court, settled. Mendy didn't get out. Mendy's been left in. You know him that were playing for Manchester City, that French fella? He's been, they're, they're digging up victims left, right and centre for him. He's, uh, there's nine people have come forward. One girl has said he did it to her twice. And he were, he were playing for Man City. Yeah. Yeah, I've just glossed over these points. But you didn't seem to get any of this stuff in the 80s and 90s, which obviously it must have gone on. Surely, uh, more. Yeah, but... I think there weren't that many cameras, and also the potential of getting some cash out of it was, was small. But I think Mason, Shame. Green, Mason Greenwood have said it's all on film, so somebody's caught him doing it and filmed it. Beaten her? Yeah. Because they, they were saying on Monday morning, because I was watching BBC on Monday before I went to work, and I was saying that, Bradford's finest, I said to Sophia and Jean, Bradford's finest right there. And uh, and the woman was saying, yep, yeah, uh, video evidence is being collected by the police, so they've, they've caught him doing it. Where did it happen? Uh, somewhere in, I think it must have been Manchester. But it was outside or inside? Uh, it must have been outside if somebody's filmed it, unless she's filmed it. Oh, oh. But then if she's filmed it, has, has she let a, kept a phone, put a phone somewhere, got it going, intimidated him, not intimidating, in, uh, got him mad so it, it would batter her? Of course, it doesn't matter how mad you get. You're going to beat the hell out of someone. Oh. What, were the th what, what were the thing in Amsterdam? Uh, it was up some. It was up north. Uh, there was a, a guy. Although the, the crime did happen, I think, footballer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Float, I think is his name. He he was out uh, driving with somebody and uh, hit a car. They were they were kind of speeding and pissed up. Well, now it, it, he was pissed up. It came out that the cops, uh, as more details were released, he was drunk. And first of all, he wasn't driving. Was the story? But now apparently he was driving. Yeah. It's only happened a couple of weeks ago. So he was driving with his friend and they hit a car and the, 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 so the car spun around and the, there was a boy in the car, a four-year-old, who died. So he was released after the day pending the investigation. Yeah. And the football club, which is called uh, Hercules, Amalo, yeah, that's it. And uh, they weren't sure what to do. There's a public opinion, but he's under contract and what do you yeah. do? Couldn't suspend him really league grounds. There's an investigation going, so that they, they let him play. They, he trained with the uh, with with the team, and they had some interviews, and he was very sorry. And he, you know, he's, but uh, more as more details came out, it looks like he was driving and he was pissed. And but he played one game. I think he played for ten minutes during one of the games, and the public just lose their mind. They're shouting and they're screaming. W why are we going to kill a playing for us suddenly? Yeah, you know? yeah. Uh, and so he he he's off now, and I think they have suspended him. And the the, the, the directors apologised. He should never have been on the field in the first place. But what were we thinking? But it's funny how when these things occur, politicians, uh, football associations, they they try to see how far they can get away with it. And as soon yeah. as all right, we this is too far. They go, oh yeah, we're well, sorry about that. It doesn't really go as our soon, way. As know? soon as the public pipe up. Yeah, but that's dirty. You're just yeah. trying to sleaze through the net. Yeah. Did you hear that story about that Wraith Rovers fella? No. Unfortunate name. His name was Goodwillie, right? Goodwillie. He was playing for Clyde. I don't know what league in, in Scotland that is, but Wraith Rover, he was done for rape in 2017. Um, found not guilty, but so much evidence against him that we're thrown out of court. But 
I don't, I don't think he got a, no, a not guilty, but we're just thrown out. Anyway, um, he's had this hanging over his head, but we're playing for Clyde. Anyway, Wraith Rovers bought him. And it's like, well, we've got a rapist playing for us. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, okay. And then the women's team en masse all resigned, said, right, you're not going to women's team anymore, we're going somewhere else. And then the public started, and they were training with the team, and like you said, it was the same thing. Until the public outcry went up, he was still playing for them, and then mm. they've, they've cancelled his contract. But he's already signed a two-year, two-and-a-half-year deal, so they're going to have to honour that contract, and he doesn't have to play for them. Mm. Pay off. Yeah. Well, he's going to need it because he's going to be playing anywhere else. But he was playing for Clyde and it didn't seem to be a problem there. Mm. It wasn't until that he, he moved and went to Wraith, Wraith Rovers, that it became a problem. Mm. Well, you, you commit a crime. When are you going to be forgiven for your crime? If, you, if you've if done your time <clears throat> and you come back and you, you become a, a baker, you become a, a butcher, you be, why should you not be forgiven for... A crown when you're a football player. If you, if you were done for speeding, or but where t where uh, with, with what you do being a teacher, if you just got out of jail, been in jail for eight years for raping women, you couldn't do this job, could no, you? No, no, certainly. So, but why, why does a footballer? Why is a footballer? No, I think it? sexual crimes have much more weight after you've done your time. I mean, you, you, you've done your time for, for sexual, what was the word now? Violence? Misconduct. Misconduct. You come out, you, you, it's very hard to find a job. If you come up for theft or bank robbery or something, yeah, which is much more intense, I think, in, in, in terms of damage to, if you blow up a safe and terrible people get injured, and you go to become a, a baker... Why, why is it? What is it with a bear? I know, it's just an average job. <laughs> but you said it wouldn't become a, a football player. No, too much, too much uh, too, there's too attraction. Much, yeah, there's too much media weird, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, media attraction. Lee Hughes, I'm thinking West Bromwich Albion. That's what I'm thinking. He were a, the best player at West Bromwich Albion. And I think he were due a big move. And he hit somebody in his car and fucked off. Because he, he were pissed and he left and he killed the fella that he hit. Oh, wow. And he got put away for two, three years. He got out early. And then he, he ended up playing in League Two for Notts County. But he, Notts County and Juventus, Juventus playing those strikes because of Notts County, because all the miners from Nottingham went over to Italy and did the mining there, started a football team, la, 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 la. When, you, when Juve moved into their new stadium, they played Notts County the first game and he was playing uproar uproar and I was kind of thinking can we not forgive him he's done his time yeah mm. you know yeah but they wouldn't let it go but if 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 Notts County hadn't have been playing Juventus in their new stadium for the first there'd have been mm. no problem yeah you become a bit of a, a scapegoat for some points at some points you can go under the radar yeah yeah. But yeah, sexual crimes will carry that. I think it's sort of a conviction forever. Especially in the public eye, that just sticks. Yeah. So why why can't why can't you do why can't you do this on Sunday? What's the crap? Uh yeah, I've been offered some extra work suddenly out of the blue. Um as substitute stuff. Where at? Uh in Tokyo. On a Sunday? Yeah. yeah covering. Uh, but I'm still waiting for details, so I'm still not 100% sure if it goes on. I'd like to, to help out, because it's a bloke that I know well. He's giving me a lot of work, other work. Is it minted? It's a good It's a good gig. Yeah. But... Uh, it's a Sunday, working on a Sunday. Up, the, up in the big smart. The, the Lord's rest day. Well, no, it? no, I, I work every day, but I'm not getting on a train and going up to Tokyo and doing it. Well, I go to Tokyo once a week for sure. Oh, bollocks to that! Bollocks <laughs> to that! <laughs> now this uh, blue screen, green, green screen, screen, yeah, pink screen. Uh, you seem to be putting up a lot of stuff there. Well, what, well, that's what it's there for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So whatever I say, do you put it up there? If I say the following sentence, um, uh, Pol Pot and uh, Bill Clinton and Hitler, 
You used to enjoy eating uh, banana splits. I can't do. I can't do on a on a Tuesday, but they never really liked uh, palm trees uh, on holiday. Will that change all the time? I'm not going to just have all palm no, trees no. and Hitler and, and Bill Clinton. We're still going to have that eight. What year, did you We're see? still going to have that eight year old up there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stuck with an eight year old. While I'm talking about Bill Clinton and Hitler eating ice cream. I would prefer that you'd cut it every time I change the subject to something new. That you cut it. So but we, we had we had nat we had hot nazis. Yeah, well, were the hot nazis up there? Uh, what are you pointing up there? We well, are I'm hoping there's going to be yeah. a hot nazi. Well, no, the, the last week. Oh, that's right. We, sorry, I thought we were talking that, about white supremacists. I found I found <clears> that hot nazi and put it up there. Um, if I would say Julius Caesar. I'm not gonna, Bill Cosby. No, because because I'm not I'm not going to be asking about in <laughs> Premier Pro, trying to sort out I'm whatever sorry, you're yes. whatever you're wanting to put up on green screen. I was hoping you would just sort of cut to all these screens. <laughs> what I'll, the names? I'll tell you about um, because oh. because I've been throwing down so much protein. Have you ever taken protein powder as a supplement? Uh, many moons ago, yeah, I bought this massive jar. But that's twenty twenty years ago. Have you and you've not taken it because I I'm. Every day, every day I'm blending two meals out of the three, so my digestive system in in uh, put under so much strain, and I'm having protein powder with it. Now, the thing about protein powder is, it builds no, it builds the muscle, it gets rid of the fat, but it gives you when you go to the toilet, you know you've been to the toilet. Do you know what I mean? The, I know he goes to my toilet. The, the, it's there is the walls. There is a there is a push to it and there is there is a lot that comes out now unless you've got an industrial an industrial <laughs> toilet. style toilet you know you're having problems with me we're, we're going to have problems so that's why i don't go here I, you're not allowed i will just have a pee here because i've looked at your toilet it's not up to the job no but i gave you those uh, the head trimmer no now at my <laughs> school at my school, um, I you went, go to the small toilet. Well, I went. To, I went to toilet. No, no, it, this is the teachers' toilet. So you've, you, you, you'd think the teachers' toilets would be up for job. So I went to toilet and I dropped what can only be described of as a hefty, a hefty load. Yeah, I think around the day there were. The ship sank off the bay. Anyway, 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 I flushed. It didn't go, and it went. And I, I start. I had to go, and I, I found there's no toilet brush. So I, I was jabbing it with cardboard that I found outside, like harpooning a shark, and it won't go. So I flushed <laughs> it. I flushed it. I didn't. You. I couldn't use the toilet paper. I put the toilet paper in the basket at the side. Anyway, I got. I got it to the point where I just. I got it under the thing, so you couldn't see it. And then left it, right? Because I can't. <laughs> so I went back. You hate went, your school. I went back, and um, there's a there's, there's a, a man crying outside well, the door. There's, there's a sign up that obviously said "toilets blocked." Are <laughs> you? We've had but the white man here. I went went over for weekend. Went back last this week and did the same again. And I thought I can't, I can't do, I can't do this to this janitor. I can't ruin his life again. And there's a couple of people who I work with who were who very hefty and you'd, they would look to be the guilty parties, not me. You would look at the staff and go, well, it must have been him. So I thought, no, I'll, I've done it. And I, all I can explain, what there's, there were a couple of remnants around, but there were one big fist-sized thing looking at me. But it, it, it were under the water. So I had to get my hands in the water, but I put a load of toilet paper out and pull it out. Do you remember? <laughs> I had to what? Put, what? I had to pull it out and snap it. It's like taking a badger out of its out of its cave yeah. and but do, its... Do you, As I were doing it, I started laughing at myself because <laughs> the, the only thing, the only thing. I could, do you remember that um, kids book, the enormous turnip? <laughs> No, I must have missed the. the Do you know when they're theaters. all when they're all when the the dad's saying to the mother, "Help pull out," and Just it was like that, brother. and I had to I had to pull it out from the bend, and then snap it. <laughs> I had to snap the thing. 
it was God. it was it was thick, it was long, and it were it wasn't going anywhere. And it was coming to a theatre near you. So I snapped it in three. I had to do it in three to get it down there. If anyone's still listening, I'm hoping went. you can you can imagine this scene. But now the, th- the 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 the. Question I'm going to ask you is the answer is no. Would you would you have left it for somebody else or would you have done what I did? Absolutely, I would have left it for someone else. Um, why? Well, that's why because I'm not going to put my hands or in your case your fists down. Well, it won't be fists. I, I will like pulling pulling a carrot out at ground. A carrot, a turn, well, not, not, a turn, not a turnip. A, a, what do they call those long? A, a cable. A pumpkin. I think the Australians say laying cable. A tur- well, there. Uh, but would uh, you have left it for somebody else? Yeah, I don't think I would have the balls to a put my hands down toilet wall to put it arms around the bend pulling. But it'd been flushed. Around. The toilet water were clean because it'd been flushed a couple of times. It wasn't going anywhere. <laughs> so whatever were around it were clean. So this is your turd. It was mate. It was huge. I was quite proud. If it had had before, and I would have taken. It, I would have held it up like you know when you catch a big fish. <laughs> <laughs> 14 meters, gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> Beat this. But that's that's what the protein pounds. That's what the protein's doing to me inside. That's what it's doing to the school, I'm worried about. Um is there a wanted poster of you on the school? Well, you know. Do not let this I don't, man I don't toilet. think people think it's me. And what could they couldn't fire me for it, could they? Well, no, that'd be a hell of a story in the paper though. Man fired for extreme turdness. For dropping lo- for dropping loads. Yeah. The mother loads. Yeah, so I've got to I've got to be wary when I, Nagasaki Zushi. When I go to other people's houses, I can't go to the toilet. I've got to wait till I go home. Well, like I said, bring your scissors with you. <laughs> well, me, me dad's toilet. Oh, bring a che- bring a cheese grater. Cheese <laughs> grater. <laughs> 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 sit there for half an hour. All right, in a second. <laughs> You're we, making chocolate chips there, young man. When my granddad were going through his dementia. We went round to my auntie's house. So we learned this trick. Did I tell you we we went? This was when I were a kid. So we went to my auntie's house, and uh, he, she was the least liked sister. And he and he were just starting with dementia, so he went and he has his shit, and he just gets her toothbrush, <laughs> puts it back. <laughs> right. And then we, because we taken him over there, we had to leave immediately. She wouldn't give him any sort of leeway with about his condition. He's wiped his ass with my toothbrush. I knew he didn't like me. Get out! Get out! We had to leave. protein. We had to leave. <laughs> oh, that won't protein. That were all Yorkshire bitter and pies. Oh, that must have been rough. Dank. He wouldn't have needed a. a but she could, she one. come in with toothbrush, and it were. It, I don't know if he. I don't know if he just wiped or he'd been jamming it up there, but. Uh, it had gone halfway down, covered. It just put it back, hoping no oh, one it, Well, he got dementia. But she took, there were no consideration into his condition. It was just like, get the fuck out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> That's an interesting moment. Where they, well, I don't give a shit anymore about you, mate. Dementia or no dementia, Alzheimer's or not. Yep, get out. That's me done. Yeah. Washing my hands with you. Yeah, that was just a, another, another Christmas in the Walsh family <laughs> ticked off. Did he still have his Christmas hat on? Yeah. Well, it's <laughs> that's what he used to mop up. <laughs> well, that sounds lovely. Uh, now, on that bombshell, are we going to continue this topic about toilets? And... No, 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 let's not. I would, I would just, because this is, ironically enough, this is episode 64. But I wonder, what, what the, what's this green screen showing well, during your you story? Keep, you've, got to, you've got to ignore it. Ignore the. No, but during thing. your story, is that the, I don't know, like something in the in the mid Pacific, looking like a log, <laughs> it's attacking a boat. You see, people are going to be listening to this. Not, there's more people listening to this than watch it, so oh, we I can't see. be going on about green screen. All oh, right, well then, yes, yes, I see. Yeah, yeah. Well, in that case, uh, that was a heartwarming story, I have to say. Yeah, it's uh, it's warmed the cockles of my heart. Now I'm going to have I'm, to, I'm going to have to have to be out of here very shortly. Well, I was because, going to suggest that before that story because my dad, my dad's, um, my dad's going to be. Well, I'm going to be calling my dad when I get home. So, any more business? Any more business? Well, I think we've covered a a very narrow well, spectrum well, today. <laughs> well, I started off racing. intensely. Though. Started off racist. We went into uh, professional footballers who were rapists from 
uh, eight, eight-year-old kids. Yeah, and then well, eight-year-old lookalikes, and then into my pro- sexy eight-year-old lookalikes. That's my protein shites. So, can you bring it up a bit, please? Uh, I, well, any topic in the world would I bring this up. <laughs> uh, Saddam Hussein, what a, what a character. Uh, where are we now? We're, we are going to slowly enter spring. Do you realise that? Well, it's going to be over. This uh, You're good. This, yeah, good. Yeah. We're a we're a month. I I hate winter. It was a safe topic. The weather. I hate winter. I love it. Rain, winter. What are you talking about? This winter here in Japan is nothing like what's back home. But grey, nasty, I, I still, dark I still skies. Hate winter. I still hate it. I can't stand it. I had a perfect uh, this week. It's been blue sky every day. But sunset. it's cold. You're not cycling it's to work not. every morning. I can't no, feel. I'm not. No, I I'm can't not. feel my feet when I get to work. It's not that cold. What is it? Two degrees. It was minus one when I set off the other day. Minus one. It got up to 11. To what time do you leave minus one? Half oh, seven. It wasn't minus one. It, Any... uh, it is in my, in my neighbourhood, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I want a screenshot of your on my phone. Tel- on my telly, it said minus one. In Zushi. In Zushi. Well, what? wherever the telly was, the telly's in Zushi. Yeah, but if, if that shows wherever Alaska. But when you, when you come round here and over that hill, that's the coldest bit because the sun hasn't quite got up yet. And there's the old fellas on the left-hand side of the beach that have started the fire going in the oil barrel. Right. And they're just where You can see the sun, like, hitting the beach there and it's coming slowly towards mm. them. And I'm just saying, just stay in the sunlight until the sun comes up. Well, I want a screenshot of your phone. Next time it's minus one. That's, that's the life to live. Those old fellas getting up at 7 o'clock in the morning, wandering down to the beach with the dogs... One of the mates has got a fire going in oil barrel and then they just sat down in the beach chairs shooting the shit until about 10 after and then go on to his wife. Are you allergic to the word the? What? <laughs> what do you mean the? You don't seem to pronounce it. Well, what do I say? Found u ud beach and ud barrel and ud wife. There's three of those missing the accent. It's t. We say t. So what happened to the? To the. T. To so, beach. To the shop. I think you must have some allergy. You can understand me. Everybody can understand me. <laughs> I beg to differ. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, uh, here in I Japan, can... where English is not their strongest forte, hence we have jobs here, I often wonder what your <laughs> students think of you when you start to go, oh, I went down to the beach and had a little barrel. And it, it, well, I would think. I was thinking if, because my. Um... One of my students left you. Lost in the Asian Cup last night, and they're on the way home now. They lost to China. Oh, did they? Japan lost to China on penalties. It was one-one, and then it got to two-two in extra time. Went to penalties, and they fucked it up on penalties. So that is the the, the woman's. Song, yeah, right? but looking at the looking at the stats, it seemed that Japan were all over them. I don't know how they've lost it. Um, so she'll be coming back. So if the BBC get the finger out and interview Japan's number eight and wonder where they've got that like, Yorkshire twang from, <laughs> all my own work. I went down goal, but the <laughs> goal gave it a stop goal. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you coming? Are you sure you're in this Japanese team? Yeah, but she's she's what, got what mill. <laughs> she's got a banging free kick uh, against Myanmar. And then uh, she, she she got an assist against Thailand because the the beat me beat me in my five nil and then it was seven nil against Thailand and then one one again Korea and then they lost to China. It's the it's the final on I think it's Korea and China at final on Sunday. Is that the World Cup? Asian Cup. Oh, yeah. But because she got into semi finals, they've qualified yeah. for World Cup now in Australia and yeah. New Zealand, twenty twenty three. Um, uh, what I do find with with uh, the football, women's soccer, it, it does change very quickly. There's there's suddenly a rain of goals, mm. and then there's a draw, and it, it's it's changes so fast. And then Afcon's been not but one nil, isn't it? Yeah, but it, it's it's the rhythm is so different, and it's not the best team. I know in, in football the best team doesn't always win, men's football, but in women's football it really is. It, talk about gambling. It's it's more like an open. Yeah. What's, who's going to win? Well, no idea. But in India, didn't even play a game because they, they were hosting it, <laughs> and they didn't even play a game because they all got corona. 
Well, and then, and then Thailand, Thailand put out a team. They had thirteen, and I think that's why they lost seven nil. And they'd only played two games because India were in their group, mm. so they all got through in that one. But yeah, she should be back soon, so I'll get the the inside, the inside news on on that China game because it it were eleven o'clock last night. Oh, I'm staying up for that. So she's gonna come in the first centres. I'm bloody furious, I am. I'll go to foot of our stairs. I can't <laughs> believe that we didn't win. Yeah. Right, yes. I'm going to be back down <laughs> that mill. Uh, did you know it's, it's also the, the Olympics are going to start today? Yeah, but... Chinese Olympics. There's nothing on Japanese TV about it. It's been very it? quiet. It's yeah. like it's not even happening. Yeah. Whereas when it were, when it were our Olympics... It were everywhere, and the Chinese had it on their TV all the time because they were winning so much. But with Winter Olympics, there's no, is there? There's certainly nothing. <laughs> no, but the Japanese have got the uh, ice skating. There's the, the what's that jump? The long <laughs> ski, ski jump. Ski jump, yeah, that, that long thing they <laughs> jump over some stuff. They, that long thing they jump up on skis. <laughs> ski jump. They jump for a bit. You see, you're going on about by accent, but you can't even put two <laughs> fucking words together. I'm not into the Winter Olympics. The only thing I like is the, the long distance skating, because that's what the Dutch, it's the only thing we win. There's yeah. nothing else we win. Well, there's no mountains, so there's no, there's no bobsleigh, there's no skiing, there's nothing snowboarding. Well, snowboarding there might be something, because that's such a young people's game. And they all go, they all travel to Switzerland anyway for these training exercises. It's not a traditional sport. That, that 2000, were it 2008, 2000, maybe 2010 Winter Olympics, wherever that was. And the 2006 Winter Olympics, that Korean skater, Yuna Kim, she stirred something inside that woman. You have to go to the toilet again. Yeah, she she incredibly hot. Scary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's, of, just, let's just take a moment there. A couple of fantasies. She's hot as shit. Hot as shit. And then in Sochi, um, she did a skating and fucking should have been tens across the board. And then this Russian won it instead. You know, because it was so corrupt, the Sochi Olympics. Oh, she was. Such, she, I thought it was one of your. your, your it was slang from the north. No, such no, a, she was. It was such a game. <laughs> she, she were defending a title, and then they just fucking they took it. They, she got silver, and this little Russian won it. Um, but most of those things were reversed after the scandals broke. Yeah. Did, did she get her goal? But there? have you watched Icarus? Is that the one with the Russian? Yeah, dog? yeah, yeah. Oh, that was great stuff. Yeah. It's now, a do do documentary about yeah, the, that fella, that's fantastic. That fella saying, oh, yeah, we, we fucking juiced everybody up, even at the Winter Olympics. But he, he said the figure skaters were the only ones that didn't respond to getting juiced because it's all about technique rather than strength. Oh. So it were pointless. And the figure skaters were the only ones in the Russian team that were clean. Mm. Everybody else were juicing. That was great. Yeah. That documentary is incredible. That bloke's hiding for his life. That that American fella is whatever whatever you say about it, his timing was incredible to ask the fella to juice because he did it clean, didn't he? And then he did it juiced. And the fella that juiced yes, him. Yeah. The fella that juiced him then Okay, it, it, all, up, it yeah. all blew up just as he's going through this. And he had him, and he had to hide him. I it's couldn't amazing. understand it. I, I thought that was a setup because he goes on about... Oh, it was uh, just timing. It was, it was about uh, uh, racing, wasn't it? Yeah, he yeah, goes, yeah. And bumps into this doctor who suddenly reveals this, this global scandal. Yeah. 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 Now I'm in trouble. You have to hide me. They're going to kill me. Yeah. Uh, yeah you, well, you, uh, I'm a small documentary you, maker. You've, you've got to watch that. I might watch it Incredible. again actually when I've got some time because it's it's a really really good documentary. I started watching that and thinking, oh, right, the funny and how it ends. You just kind of believe the it just takes so many left turns. Yeah. And he also that fella also did the Khashoggi. Um, What's that? You know that fella that got cut up in uh, Saudi Embassy in Istanbul. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. He did Your pronunciation. He, that name is classic. Though, well, yeah. it's Khashoggi. <laughs> Well, so what do, you, what do you say? No, I'm not going to tell you. But well, he he did that one, and because well, he the, did it, the Saudis, <laughs> the Saudis have got so much power they won't let Netflix 
broadcast. Really? Yeah. So it, it has to be bought on his website. And it's so interesting. Does he start off with a small documentary about wood making and ends up <laughs> talking to these murderers I and admits had, everything I have watched it, yeah. I will watch it. But Amazon Prime won't take it because Bezos wanted to open up in Saudi. And they said, well, if you want to open up here, you don't have that, that on your platform. Yeah. Netflix, the same. Mm. So they just won't, they won't open the markets up. Oh, interesting. I'll have a look at that. Yeah. That's one of the strangest and best documentaries ever. That, that Yank, when he starts off and how it ends up, I've never seen anything in my life that changes yeah. in that way. Yeah. It's like a bloke who starts off about beekeeping, ends up finding who killed Kennedy. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just bizarre. But a great is, piece of work. It's a really good documentary, and the the timing is the best thing about that. Incredible stuff. But even that fella now is, is, is in witness protection program. His wife and kids are getting, they won't let him out of the country, they won't let him out of Russia. They've even taken the dogs away from him because they they, were, they had dogs just to just to keep him for security. So mm. if anybody's sneaking around, the dogs are bad. So the Russian government took the dogs away from him. Mm. Yeah, very, what a, it's just incredible. Well, I'll try and find it again. Icarus. Icarus, I didn't know that was a title. Yeah, yeah, Icarus. Yeah. But yeah, that Kaso Kasoji one, or whatever you pronounce it. Koshi. I'm gonna eh? Koshi Kozi. That's not good. I I, I will I will seek that one out because I've got a weekend off next week and the kids are away, so I'm gonna watch it then. Right. Uh, yeah. Well, that, that bombshell. That will be about an hour. One hour. Well, it's time to go back down down the mill. Down pit. Is is that out of focus pit. or is it my? I'll let you get that close with your bumps. Yeah, right. All right, then. Are we done? Uh, we are about done. I think you uh, would agree with us that we've covered a global uh, spectrum of global topics with different uh, viewpoints. Uh, very balanced. We've we've set the, the pluses and the minuses, the advantages and disadvantages. We went to the left and the right. Uh, very balanced, very fair. And uh, you see, you see it seems to go to the shits, this podcast, when you let me talk more. Exactly, and so I why, do enjoy why, you uh, why do, about why do, why sexy do, eight-year-olds. Why don't you talk? <laughs> right, anyway, there'll be no more paedophile talk next week. We didn't want paedophile talk because she's 22 years old. Uh, exactly. Right. So what are you talking Let, about? Let's just shut the fuck up before we uh, get arrested. <laughs> See you later. Bye-bye.